Greetings everyone. Manu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 2nd February 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has held that land in Himachal Pradesh cannot be transferred to non-agriculturists without state's permission and observed that purpose of same is to save small agricultural holding of poor persons and to check rampant conversion of agricultural land for non-agricultural purposes. The Supreme Court Constitution Bench has directed WhatsApp to widely publicize its stand that WhatsApp users in India do not have to accept its 2021 privacy policy in order to use it and the app's functionality would remain unaffected till data protection bill comes into existence. The court while dismissing a PIL challenging the constitutionality of Section 33 subclause 7 of the Representation of Peoples Act 1951 has held that permitting a candidate for contesting for more than one seat is a matter of legislative policy and therefore up to Parliament. The court has held that where the controversy is purely a legal one and it does not involve disputed questions of fact but only questions of law, then it should be decided by the High Court instead of dismissing the writ petition on the ground of an alternative remedy being available. News highlights from the High Courts, starting with the Delhi High Court. The High Court has held that condition for customs duty exemption is not available to the SSC for aircraft imported for private purposes and not for providing non-scheduled passenger or charter services. The High Court has directed Medical Superintendent of the Heart Jail to ensure that efficacious medical treatment is provided to former Popular Front of India Chairman E. Abu Bakr on a regular basis. Full bench of the Delhi High Court has held that final orders of the Armed Forces Tribunal can be challenged before High Court. The High Court, while hearing Suomoto public interest litigation initiated in 2015 on the issue of air pollution in Delhi, observed that Delhi is losing its forest cover drastically and underscored that injustice is being done to nature and we should leave something for the generations to come. News highlights from the Madras High Court. The Madras High Court, while observing that temples should not turn into places of gaining profits, has ordered closure of all illegal and unauthorized websites that have been created in the names of temples and which have been collecting funds from the devotees by misleading them. The High Court has held that persons who were living temporarily in India and foreign citizens who are overseas citizenship of India cardholders are entitled to invoke the Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act of 2005 before Indian courts. A Lucknow court has signed an order to release Kerala journalist Siddiqui Kappan on bail and directed to release Kappan if not wanted in any other case after obtaining a personal bond from him. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.